Now we're in for a feast fit for a king. And there's a very good chance that the king and queen have actually tried today's dishes mm. for themselves. It comes from Cooking and the Crown, royal recipes from Queen Victoria to King Charles III, a cookbook compiled by Tom Parker Bowles. Good morning. morning good morning. And there really is everything in here, from how the, martini, how the king takes his martini... Well, it's from martinis right through to Victoria's favourite cakes. I mean, the whole point, everyone thinks royal food, larks, tongues, caviar, foie gras. Yeah. This is trying to say it's not, it's, you know, the, the, the royal family from Victoria onwards ate normal food. They like puddings, they like cakes, they like tea, they like, you know, fish and things we can cook. If I can cook it, then anyone can cook it. And yeah. what about some of the permissions to share this sort of stuff. Notoriously, our royal family can be very private. Yes. Uh, you've got... You, uh, where have you got the, the recipes from and how have you delved into those sort of secrets? Well, basically, I've been a food writer and restaurant cleaner for 25 years. Yeah. I've avoided, studiously avoided the royal family for obvious reasons. Yeah. You know, talked about food. But I've always been fascinated by, you know, how the royal family, especially... Queen Victoria, Edward VII, mm. ate, and they ate very lavishly. Right. Um, Edward VII, you know, there'd be 10 courses for breakfast, what? 12 courses for lunch, then a huge tea with sandwiches and cakes and everything else, and then dinner. Going round their house. You know, huge, huge amounts. They would eat so much. Yeah. Um, and so I found that fascinating. And many years ago, my mother gave me a book called Royal Chef, which is a guy, about, uh, by a guy called Gabriel Schumi, who was a Swiss guy who started under Queen Victoria and um, rose up to be Queen Mary's royal chef. And it's tales of cooking on the, uh, the royal yachts and going all over the world, and, and, and all the stories are in there. But I wanted to sort of grab out all the interesting recipes. And when I first came up with it, the late queen was still alive, so I was one step removed. Sure. Having only met her twice, the first time I was about eight, and I was so scared that I curtsied rather than that. <laughs> um, and the second time, my sister and I at my mother's wedding, I think we got lost in Windsor Castle, and suddenly this very recognisable voice came behind us, and we were like, you know, we were terrified. So we just Did she tell you off? No, but, you know, she was a queen. Yes, of you know, course. Uh, so, so she led you back to where everybody was? Led very nicely, and we just followed, like, sort of, Aww. you know, children behind. So, um, so, so this is one of her favourite recipes? Well, this came from Mark Flanagan, right. uh, who's still raw chef, fantastic chef, more like a field marshal now. He runs the whole... You know, he cooks for thousands. Mm. So this... And he was telling me about the late queen didn't like... This hasn't got any chilli in it. I love chilli, usually. Yeah. Right. Um, like it's a curry, right? It's a You're curry, of course. So I've started with bay leaves, cardamom. Put that in, give it a bit of flavour. Put in the onions, OK? And that, that cooks away very nicely for about, you know, about 20 minutes. Never believe a recipe that says cook, cook the onions until soft five minutes. No, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So we're cooking now. I've got a nice bit of colour on that now. So I take right. that off. And it's got all the lovely flavours. So you've got your uh, turmeric, your curry powder and your coriander. Mm -hmm. So those all go in there mm -hmm. just to cook it all up. And was the, was the late queen quite partial to a curry? Well, I think so. You know, I, I, I'm, of course, being the late queen, I wouldn't, you know, I can't speak for her uh -huh. or anything like that. But having spoken to Mark Flanagan, and yes, I think that, you know, this was a curry that she liked very much. Um, How about the current queen? Is she a fan of spicy curries? No. <laughs> Is she not? I can <laughs> say that with my... <laughs> you you know that for No, sure. no, no. She makes mean scrambled eggs, though, doesn't There's she, Scr scrambled eggs. Recipe. I mean, what everyone forgets is obviously now, you know, my mother's married to the to the king and uh -huh. is the queen. Uh -huh. But she... Does that ever get strange, Tom? Well, I, it's, it's sort of... We got used to it, really. But, you know, before all that, she was bringing up two children. Yeah, and, of course. And as you know, with children, it's fun cooking on a Saturday afternoon with a glass of wine, watching the football. But actually cooking for two children day in, day out can be quite boring. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, sorry, I'm taking it. Yeah, of go on. There, a uh, bit of salt. So we've got salt and we've got saffron. This is just basically your lovely sort of curry mm -hmm. sauce. Putting a bit of yogurt so it's nice and creamy. Again, this is very, very easy. But no, so she was a good cook. I don't think she liked baking particularly. Right. Um, but she was a very, very good, you know, English cook. And where did your love of food come from then, and the food writing? Oh, it was just greed. Pure <laughs> greed. As you can see, if you look at pictures of me a long time ago, sort of lean <laughs> and mean, and now having stuffed my face for 25 years. Um, chicken, straight yeah. in here, and not touching it, so I don't have to wash my hands. Um, that goes there. So it really is, this curry is so simple. But the one thing here, so that's going to cook for about 25 minutes. 
very gently. So did Mark say, so this, this is the late Queen's favourite curry recipe. Did, did, the, did Mark say, oh, she would like, Friday nights was curry night? They, they, <laughs> did they have it, was it once a week or a couple of times a I, week? I didn't dare ask. I just sort of went to talk about, because there are three different curries in the book, along with everything else. There's Queen Victoria love curry. Yeah. Ah. Uh, George V love curry. So there's a big, very much British curries. I'm not claiming this is authentically regionally right. Indian in any way at all. It's very much a British take on curry. But if you don't like chilli, um, this is the sort of curry to have if it doesn't agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, OK, so that's going to cook away for 25 minutes. What mm -hmm. I've done here, this is the garam masala, the spice mix, a warming spice mix, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon. Toast it until it's all lovely. Mm -hmm. Grind it up. Oh, wow. Okay. And you have this lovely warming that you always had at the end. You put a couple of... Actually, I'll tell you what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. I'm going to get the nice... Finish one, which is mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Kind of lovely, isn't it? It does look delicious. This is the joy. I'm gonna put it in I feel like we should have one of the Queen Mother's cocktails with this, though, or something. <laughs> yes. One of those gin cocktails she used to like. There, there is a recipe in there, but again, what I said, this is a cookbook for everyone to use yeah. um, and to get something for two. And shortbread from Balmoral. Yeah. And there's, there's, and, there's all, and the illustrations as well, Tom. Well, that's what makes it. And, and it's Alice Petullo and then John Carey, the photographer. Just so beautiful. these books are group efforts. Now, here we go. I'm going to mm -hmm. put this all together. It's beautiful yep. illustration. In we go. And you have the rice basmati rice, so lots and lots of this. And the whole point, Mark, used to say the queen, the late queen, mm. was a big fan of all the side bits. So Ooh. you have next to you, you have yes. shallots, oh, yes. tomatoes, cucumber. Yes. Here, Ben, start doing those ones, my lovely. That's there, not very this neat. You see, I'm not like your proper chef, so I'm a sort of home cook. No, but it's lovely. Again, and that all turns off. Depends on coriander. Yeah. Too. Have it's you all about had, flavor of, and yeah, proper. Tom, have you ever had the, the have the have has your mum and, and the king been over for yours for dinner? Do you no. have to cook for them. <laughs> no, no. They have really good chefs. And yeah, the last I, thing I know, they but like, is... but also they must love coming over to see the kids and be hanging out and stuff like that. Like, well, the, the kids mainly come over. My my sisters, uh, my niece and nephews, and my children mainly go over to them. Really, on the whole, right. they're quite busy, you know. <laughs> uh, my kids are on mm. holiday to stay in bed all day, so it's a uh, but it's a it's a decent curry, I think. I mean, oh, it's lovely. Well, as you say. If you don't want it too spicy mm -hmm. and stuff, there's still enough flavour in it without it being hot. It's got hot. all the spice flavour, but none of the chilli. Yeah, it's so aromatic, really. Exactly. Name. It's absolutely delicious. The book is lovely. Oh, thank absolutely you. Absolutely beautiful. Cooking and the Crown is out now. And for details of today's recipe, check out our free This Morning app. Tom, thank you. Thank Absolutely you. Free. so much. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. We upload tons of new content every single day. So hit the subscribe button, like all the videos, and don't miss out. We'll see you in the morning.